Euphoric Productive Motivation Yo, what's going on? It's someone that's someone, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Cameron, off Eurowood, when this happened, 2012, the drugs used, with dexamphetamine, nicotine, and melatonin, at a dose of 40 milligrams of Vyvanse, and 3 milligrams melatonin, the route administration, orally and smoked, gender, male, weight, 130 pounds, age, 19, prior experience, he's tried Vyvanse before, and the setting, at home, work, and class. Okay, for today's report, we're covering a classic example of how and why some people turn to stimulants to handle their business. Most commonly, you hear students looking to acquire some during their finals, and that's exactly the case here. Cameron wanted a bit of an extra boost, so things wouldn't be so overwhelming, trying to balance everything out. This is very similar to our last report on Vyvanse, but this report does open the floor for a commonality when it comes to using stimulants. And that can be poly drug use. It isn't severe at all as to what happens in this report, but it still stands as an example for what many do. And we'll break this down more as to why after the report. I wouldn't say this report is reckless by any means. In fact, the way Cameron goes about things, he acted rather responsibly and accordingly for what he intended to do. This report shows the recreational side of Ivan's and how that recreational quality is entwined with him being productive. I'm sure you'll enjoy this report, so without further ado, let's dive right into this. It was final exam week at university, so I decided to visit my old friend Vyvanse again and picked up two 20 milligram pills. Vyvanse is not typically my recreational drug of choice, thus my tolerance is low, but when things simply must be accomplished and my workload feels overwhelming, there's nothing like the sustained wave of focus, motivation, and productivity provided by this drug. The euphoria and off the charts confidence boost is nice too. I take no herbal supplements or other medication. 8.15 AM Woke up, took the first pill, 20 milligrams, on an empty stomach, and washed it down with a bottle of water. I'm feeling groggy from just waking up, but my outlook is positive and my demeanor is pleasant as I begin looking forward to the effects of the drug. I stashed the second pill in my pocket, knowing I'll want a boost later on in the day. 8.45 AM Beginning to feel the first effects, vision is sharper, colors just a bit brighter. I am no longer groggy. I noticed that I am in a very good mood, seemingly for no reason. I started working on an assignment that's due in an hour, and I find the task both engaging and fulfilling. I wish I could write like this all the time. 9.45 AM As I finish the paper I was writing, I realize that I am fully feeling the effects of the Vyvanse. I'm not overly excitable or speeding excessively, but I notice a definite pulsation of slightly euphoric energy. Vision is noticeably sharper, and I feel on top of the world, like it had been a really good day, even though all I had done was wake up and do homework. 10.30 AM I go to work for my shift at a local restaurant, where I realize we are short-staffed and quickly becoming quite busy. I handle the crowd with ease, smiling all the time while I was preparing the seemingly endless pile of orders. I'm on top of the world, and my energy seems boundless. 11 AM I decide to take the second 20 milligram pill. Stomach is still empty at this point, but I have no appetite. I wash the pill down with another half bottle of water. Vyvanse tends to make my mouth dry and make me quite thirsty. 11.30 AM I look up at the clock and notice that it has been about 30 minutes since I took the last pill. Time is flying by. I also realize that I'm feeling the strongest euphoria, motivation, and energy thus far. The second pill has kicked in. 1.30 PM. I finish my shift at work and start walking to class. I notice that I'm smoking vastly more cigarettes than usual today. I smoke three or four on my walk across campus instead of my usual one. 2.30 PM. I am in class and begin to notice a very slight drop in the euphoria that had accompanied me all day. I'm still energetic, but perhaps a little less so than before. 
I'm drinking lots of water, still have no appetite, and am desperately craving a cigarette. 4.45 p.m. I'm in my last class of the day, and I'm beginning to notice a definitive decline in the drug's effects as they begin to wear off. Even though I've started to come down from the effects that I desired, I'm also well aware that the drugs will continue to affect me for hours to come. I'm beginning to develop an appetite, and I'm still smoking lots of cigarettes. 6 p.m. I decide to cook some dinner as my appetite has come back with a vengeance. My thoughts are still a bit racy, but my body's beginning to grow tired. Even though I want to sit down and relax, I find it difficult to stay seated for very long. The Vivens is still giving me the urge to fidget and move, even though I'm not so sure I want to anymore. 9 p.m. Resting is easier now, especially if I keep my mind occupied. I'm watching TV intently and feel the first trendles of actual sleepiness come creeping in. 11 p.m. I'm definitely tired now and take a very refreshing shower. My thoughts are no longer racing and I'm feeling generally at peace. However, I'm a bit frustrated because although I feel the urge to sleep, my body just won't let me yet. I put on some music and start reading a book, hoping sleep will come soon. 12.30 p.m. I fall asleep after taking 3 milligrams of melatonin sleep aid and slept soundly through the night. Next morning, no noticeable hangover, everything is back to normal. All in all, it was another pleasant day of happiness, talkative, productive energy, and motivation provided by Vivans. So here we are to talk about Vivans again. If you don't know, Lysdexamphetamine is a stimulant that is often prescribed to those with ADHD and sometimes for those with an eating disorder. If you have heard and know somewhat about Adderall, it's very comparable to that. In fact, it is derived from amphetamine itself. Some of the key differences with Vivans though is that it is notably more long lasting compared to something like Adderall or Ritalin and that due to its mechanism of action, it can't be used efficiently outside of oral use. Lysdexamphetamine works solely by metabolizing into dextroamphetamine. The fact only so much is converted at a time gives its long duration, but it doesn't allow for methods like insufflation or smoking it because it has to pass through the liver for this metabolization to occur, making Vivans somewhat of a prodrug outside of its oral use. But as we can see from this report, and the last report we did on Vivans, that doesn't mean it is at all void of providing enhancing effects when it comes to focus and productivity, but also with providing a recreational euphoria. Now this report had somewhat of a bright outlook on the experience, and something like Vivans or other stimulants can be a tool for helping some with getting over these hills we can come across in our lives. But stimulants can be regarded as very powerful and can be very addictive especially when it becomes more about dopamine. I would say that Cameron had a general good attitude for this experience. He did know early on that it wasn't his recreational drug of choice and that he simply was using it to handle a large workload. He didn't seem to show any signs of wanting to do it outside of this purpose. It did seem as though he did enjoy the experience overall, and he does mention smoking a lot more cigarettes than usual. This is something I want to bring up a bit, as it can happen with many people during a stimulant experience, and that's dopamine craving. Now, if just about all stimulants like this, they'll increase the amount of dopamine you receive from dopamine-inducing activities, such as smoking cigarettes, or other things like sexual activities, playing video games, using other substances, or even things just like talking to people. You'll naturally have a higher amount of dopamine being rewarded, so you'll be much more tempted to seek out these kinds of behaviors. Now while in the moment, this may feel really good, but some can take it to extremes, they basically get to a point where they dole out the activity. If you were prescribed a stimulant or just have access and do it frequently, this kind of behavior could lead to a dullness on your quality of life and health. You can become dopamine deficient, and over time, life can become less and less enjoyable. But other than that, using other substances, Cameron, to take the melatonin, as it wouldn't have led to an adverse reaction and gave him some sleep. On the come down of a stimulant, some may be inclined to use a downer substance as well. 
alcohol being a readily available one, which with this, this could lead to further dehydration and is something to be weary of. And I do want to briefly bring up our last report on Vyvanse. I had fun studying while on it, Vyvanse, where he was prescribed it at 50 milligrams daily. Now Vans reports very similar feelings here, that it provides him with focus, helped him through work, it lasts long throughout the day, and provides him with a good recreational quality. The motivation it gives him is very aligned with Cameron's. Vans doesn't note any other substance use though, and for the most part, he claims it turned him around for the better. So with proper responsible usage, and just being wary of what is possible, Vyvanse can be used as an efficient tool for some. So we're going to end it there for today. If you guys did enjoy this report on Vyvanse, want to see more on stimulants, or any substance at all, let me know in the comments below. If you have your own report you want to see, send it to knowandsubmitreport at gmail.com. If you want to see some exclusive reports not on the channel, you can find them on my Patreon. The link's in the description for that. If you did enjoy this video, if you can, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow the socials, share the video. It's been someone that's no one, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.